Well, my name is Honorary Babiola Peter Makinde. Okay. I represent uh, the people of Hondo East West Federal Constituency at this National Assembly. The budget? Well, the budget uh, for 2022, I would say, is an ambitious one. Uh, ambitious in the sense that I think uh, the President is trying to, um, as much as possible, catch up with some. Uh, some some things uh, best uh, known to him, the executive, and of course uh, we, uh, as legislators, also uh, reason along with him that there is need for us to uh, be able to have more money, to be able to do uh, many things in Nigeria. So 16 trillion, we have never seen that in. Many years, so we've never seen that in Nigeria. You know, 16 trillion is huge, but then you know, the cost of building, the cost of uh, buying things these days is, is skyrocketing. So, we can't say you know, the numbers are too high, but we have to compare it to uh, the cost of living, the cost of um, um, uh, you know, employee payroll had increased. So many things have changed in Nigeria. So we we know that uh, that 16 trillion will go a long way in putting some things in place in Nigeria. Well, so the um, the 16 trillion was presented to the to the house, and um, of course uh, three trillion out of it will be used uh, towards debt. Uh, of course, we in Nigeria do actually owe. And uh, we have to pay our debt, which is very important. But three trillion out of sixteen, you know, it's um, more or less like about thirty percent, I guess, of, of 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 the whole budget. So we need to take it easy as far as borrowing is concerned, so that we can actually um, uh, do the best we can to raise funds and to be able to generate fund as much as possible. Yeah. And at the same time, the deficit is um, about uh, 6 trillion. So 16 trillion is coming in, 6 trillion is deficit. So how do we cover this deficit of 6 trillion? We have to look into our IGR, the internal generated uh, revenue, look at um, so many ways at which we can be able to recover our fund especially the looted funds that are there, how they are, we need to bring them back. And of course, uh, the customs are not yet transparent enough uh, that can make people to really do a quick business with them. Um, they don't really have, um, they may say they have an automated system in their, in their, um, in their agency, but they are not transparent enough to customers who would like to patronize them. How much will it cost me to ship a car? Should be seen online. You can actually ship your car online rather than having to be stopped by one custom officer and say that your papers are not complete. How will people be able to, how, how will Nigeria generate revenue from such if we are not transparent enough to attract customers? So when the deficit is six trillion, the government need to put the government need to um, put some checks and balances to some of those uh, revenue generating agencies to make sure that how do we increase your revenue so that we can reduce our deficit and to increase revenue, I use customs as an example. They are not transparent enough. Like those who in the United States, those in the UK, you cannot log in and just see a simple process of how you can just try, uh, you know, ship your car and then pick your car. It should be straightforward without having any issues. So that is disturbing and is reducing our uh, cash flow uh, in Nigeria. Agriculture, we're not doing badly. Uh, many people are now depending on um, our local rice rather than foreign rice which is very good however our cement uh, uh, sector is really not doing well because it's still being uh, 
monopolized one way or the other. We need uh, new investors to come in and break down the cost of cement so that people can... We are looking at how do we reduce this deficit. People want to invest in Nigeria. They want to build estates and bring in new jobs. But then your cost of cement is very high. How do we break that monopoly? How do we make sure that um, these are, you know, cheaper for our people? Lastly will be the, uh, the process at which budget are being approved. Um, right now, Nigeria is not getting it right. 16 trillion, I will challenge anyone to please just type the name of your local government in that budget and see how many times your local government comes out how many how many how much is being allocated to that your local government you'll be amazed that there are some local government that doesn't have a dime in that 16 trillion because most of the time the budget process in nigeria is who knows who and you lobby why must you lobby if there is a mandate given to federal character commission which is the second mandate equitable distribution of projects and now when we have 16 trillion, are we getting that 16 trillion equitably distributed across the 36 states in Nigeria? So you can imagine where the problem is coming out from. People just make up those numbers and they don't even have an idea of the statistics and the distribution. I will challenge um, uh, budget office to come up with the distribution. Let us ask them, can you please give us a chart of the distribution of this 16 trillion? Local government by local government, not state by state. Local government by local, you will be amazed that there are so many local government that has nothing in this budget. So I commend the president for this ambitious um, uh, initiative. However, we still have a long way to go. The budget itself is not equally distributed. We're still creating problem out of another problem. When the budget is not equally distributed, people will say they have not seen the presence of the federal government. That's what will happen. What is happening right now that many Nigerians don't know is that you are saying, oh, I am releasing 16 trillion to you people. But some people are saying, we are not seeing this 16 trillion. No. Reason being that your name, your local government, your street, your major roads are not captured. So must we now go and line up at the budget office before that is captured? Move, move, move. Do we have to have royal fathers line up at agencies before they are... Um, uh, projects are being captured so people make up these things and you find out that a state may only have just about 0.001 percent of the 16 trillion don't forget 16 trillion is cash it's cash it is going to be cash it's going to be money that will be spent and you can imagine 10 years put this budget together, how much we have wasted in a, when you are not distributing it equally, people will react, people will revolt, people will be agitated, people will say that schools are not in our community, people will say that the roads are bad, students will cry out and say, look, this thing is not... Um, we're not feeling the government. The reason is not far-fetched. The budget need to be equally distributed. The budget need to be equally distributed. For us to have um, a, a reduction in the rate of insecurity in Nigeria, people need to trust the government People need to see the government at the local government level. They need to see the impact of the local of, of the federal government. That wow, for the first time, these people came. 
So why would you bomb some, some places? Why would you kill your brother? If you are, why would you abuse the president? Why would, you, why would you kidnap a minister? Why would you attack a governor when they are seeing the presence of the federal government? And the mandate is in the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And it's saddled with, um, it's, it's um, under the um, Federal Character Commission Act. And the second mandate is to ensure that there is equitable distribution of federal government services and projects. So which means that the executive need to create a formula by which the federal character will go by that formula and distribute all these projects. The same way if you look at the employment, the first mandate of the federal character, and that's what they are enforcing now. As a federal character, Deputy Chairman House Committee on Federal Character, we are used to the first mandate, but we are waiting on the executive to give us the formula for the second mandate. That way, we know Ministry of Works, you have this X amount of fund. How are you going to share it across board? Ministry of Agri, you have this X amount of fund in the budget. How are you going to share it across the board? Science and tech, you have this X amount of money. How are you going to share it across the board? University Commission, tertiary institution, I mean tertiary um, uh, the basic education and the tertiary uh, uh, aspect of uh, education. Ministry of Education, you have this X amount of money. How much is going to the tertiary? How much is going to the basic education? And then when we get to the basic education, how, have you, how are you distributing it across Nigeria? States. That, that is in the constitution, but it's not being enforced. And it cannot be enforced unless we come up with a formula that will be given by the federal government. So I ask the federal government to quickly, please, come up with that formula for the second mandate of the Federal Character Commission that deals with the um, equitable distribution of um, our project. When we do that, then we are meeting the international best practices. Then we are actually in line with the way it is being done in UK, in US, in Canada, in Germany and all those places. We want to come to equity, come with clean hands. So I, I, I pray that um, our, our country would um, resolve to ensure that the same road you have in the north is coming up also in the south. Not just the north and they leave the south. And not just the south and then they leave the north. And that would be my, my take as far as this budget is concerned. Thank you.